What is good YouTube? It's your boy Warstu here with a video on The Flash Season 3. I wasn't going to make this video but I've had a few messages of people being confused about Savitar, about the current timeline and about everything. So last week Savitar was revealed to be a version of Barry Allen and he was revealed to be a time remnant just like I said in my theory video. I said he would be the time remnant from the future that 2024 flash spoke about he said to our barry you will create you will create time remnants and he will kill them all mostly so 2024 barry allen did tell us that savitar was basically a time remnant but no one seemed to pick up on this so he's a time remnant from the future so technically he is still a future flash and he created himself and uh, so the original timeline was where young Barry was supposed to, be, supposed to become the Flash in the year 2020. So that was timeline one. Timeline two was when a reverse Flash had to make the Flash become the Flash faster than he was going to, than he should have done naturally because he was stuck in the timeline and couldn't get back to his own century without the flash's speed timeline three now this is where barry ran back in time messed up the timeline and created flashpoint and essentially created savitar but savitar wasn't created during flashpoint he was created because of the ramifications of flashpoint later on and timeline four is the timeline we're in now which is post flashpoint so during a fight with barry allen future barry allen and savitar he creates all these time remnants and savitar lets one of them live so it can so it can become savitar in some sense i mean there i mean there's not really an easy way to explain this because there is a massive plot hole but war stew savitar was in the speed force prison during flashpoint yes i know uh, i mean it does make sense but it doesn't make sense there is a massive plot hole i mean the time remnant it would have made more sense for it to be the time remnant from the end of season two the finale when barry's time remnant exploded i mean that would have made more sense so this is gonna, gonna this will confuse people and i've had people ask me is it the zoom time remnant from that like finale of season two it's not it's the one from future flash a version of the, the kind of barry allen from the future you create a time remnant to cut try and stop savitar but savitar defeated them all mostly i mean this was widely said on the once a future flash so i can't understand why people were making videos about oh my god savitar is the original barry allen oh my god savitar is the original future original uh kind of flashpoint oh my god savitar is post flashpoint no i said it from the start i was right i said it was a time remnant i was right i'm not i i don't care if i was right to be honest because it's not really that important to the overall narrative because there is a lot of big ass plot holes but there's also another thing that he says. So essentially he was working. So this time remnant was working with Future Flash. But then the team didn't accept him. They shunned him. They sh The team kind of shunned him. Made him feel dark. Um, he said Barry, Joe, Cisco abandoned him. He didn't. I'm not sure if they said Iris. I mean I've, I've played it a few times. I don't think Iris shunned him. So basically he was working with the Flash. And the Flash... And Team Flash shunned him and that led him down a dark and lonely path. So Savitar's plan is to make sure that our Barry becomes Savitar by killing Iris West. And then it will be like a never ending loop. So essentially Savitar, the original Savitar was Barry Allen. There wasn't a different version of Barry Allen before Savitar. Yeah, I know it doesn't really make any logical sense if you think about it. I might put a clip of the kind of the the intro to this episode beforehand, but I'm not not too sure if I do that. So I I don't like to make videos like this, but I've had a lot of people getting confused about what timeline they're in. I've explained the kind of timelines from the start to now. We're not in the original timeline. We're in timeline four technically, I guess. So future flash is savitar it's just a time remnant so a time aberration i mean uh, uh, the kind of 2056 message to 
Rip Hunter from Barry Allen in 2056 to Rip Hunter is fucking bullshit, guys. It is honestly bullshit, right? So he sends a message to Rip Hunter saying, don't show it, don't tell anyone this message. So why the hell would he warn Rip Hunter when Barry Allen hasn't got any any substance? He's got no interaction, interaction with Barry Allen. So why would he send a random message to rip hunter it just makes no sense guys it's a massive plot hole but i really like the episode so i'm not going to hate on it but there's a lot of kind of for and against there's a lot of massive plot holes i mean the 2056 message it just makes no sense it's not about savitar as much as the show can tell you that it's fucking not a war is coming right so barry taking on barry it's not a war a war isn't one person a war would be a team of people so it, it honestly guys does not make any logical sense so if you've got any comments Comments, drop them down below and i'll try to explain the kind of time running it better i mean i've explained it fully i've gone through the timelines i've gone through everything i can possibly do i might do a kind of review video uh later on i've done this kind of video instead because i, I guess it's going to be a trendy kind of video but yeah so the avatar is just a time runner he created himself uh when obviously barry allen tried to fight savitar so and savitar let his time remnant exist so it would be like it'd be a safeguard so Savitar would always be like would always exist as long as the car current Barry Allen goes down a dark path and gives up hope and all that kind of good stuff anyway guys please like subscribe and comment and I'll see you in another video goodbye peace out guys